Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos. I'm going to the Rami, Ka, Rami M. Kopp Museum, and it has everything under the sun. And I'll take you there and show you around. Thanks everybody. Bye. All right, everybody. This is the entrance to the Rami Kopp Museum. And I, I, it's supposed to be cars, but it looks like it's a fairground and parade and airplane hangar and all sorts of things. There's some things to read, which is nice. Well, I guess this little square is pretty old, 1925. The street lamp on display is one of the examples of the lights used in Istanbul during the Ottoman era. The originally used natural gas. Wow, okay. So, yeah, there it is. See the words up there? Rami Kak Musea. And it's got a big jet. <laughs> and this is the entrance. So, let's go in here and uh, see what we can do. So, this was established in 1994. Um... Kind of showing you around here. All right, I'm gonna stop and we'll go inside. Bye, everybody. Right, here's the ticket, and it was 28 lira to get in. And this is kind of what it looks like, and it looks like they have different areas. So it looks like um, they have all sorts of different things here, even little biplanes and little miniatures. Um, and it looks like this might be this place. Maybe, I, I don't know. But there's the cars. Well, let's go this way first and see. I don't know what this is. Um, oh, undersea. This is undersea stuff. Please do not lean against the glass. I'm gonna zoom out so we can see better here. Very cool. Diving apparatus, so it must be an air pump or something, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, diving pump. Huh. The old scuba gear. Please do not touch the globe. Okay. These lumps of rocks are meters from planets. Okay. Oh, this is a cafe. We're not going to the cafe. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> All the old Macs. Amazing. I guess zooming out, it's really tight in here and everything's pretty big, so. Well, let's get over to the cars and take some pictures of some cars, shall we? Yeah, lots of little toys. Wow. Old Thunderbird. Well, I'll just go through here quickly. What a nice old Mustang. Well, you can't tell if it's a four lug or a five lug. Huh. Oh, look at this one. An old Chevelle. 69. Very nice. Ford Fairlane 500. Uh, they got a lot of old cars. Mm -hmm. 
Rolls Royce. An old Cadillac. 1953. Look at the fins. 1935 Rolls Royce. Thirty-six Austin Ford Galaxy Starliner. Huh. Bentley. Very cool. <laughs> Volkswagen Carmen Ghia, huh? I'd take one of these in a second. Nineteen sixty-nine. Huh. And a bug. Oh, with the split window bug, 1949 bug. So this is like one of the very first bugs ever made. Wow. See the split window back there? Huh. I take one of those too. Probably worth a pretty penny. It's this little midget, NG, and I don't know what this is, Messerschmitt, two seats, <laughs> that's a cute one, Cintron, huh. alright, I guess I'll go down the outside and then I'll come back the inside. And this is a uh, Alma. Don't know that one. Oh, it's a big boy. Cadillac again. Huge fins. Buick. Special four door. Another Cadillac, a two door Cadillac. Huh. Hmm. U.S. mail. <laughs> That's kind of funny. 1929 Ford Model A. Huh. I don't know. Looks like just all coffee makers. I don't know what that is. So let's go down the middle and then we'll get out of here. Um, Fiat. And a Mercedes. Is this a 500? No, 230 SL. Yeah. Jaguar. And another bug. 1300. And a Carmen Ghia. Is that a hardtop Carmen Ghia? Hmm. That's a cute little thing, isn't it? A BMW. <laughs> one wheel in the back and two in the front. Oh, and this is the one that has the door in the front where you open it this way and crawl in. Hmm. This is a Carmen Ghia, what year? 59. Hmm. Well, it's a nice little car, isn't it? And the bug, a 1300, 1966. Citron again. Hmm. in that movie in uh, Harry Potter it looks like this car right here See him? Sit, 
Huh. Harry Potter cover. Interesting. And the Fiat. All right. Let me zoom out of here and you can see it all. And it looks like you can go outside and they have uh, boats outside too, made of honor. So it's like just a huge museum of all sorts of things. Wow, what is this ship? Does it say what this is? Um, the harbor was founded. And it's a museum of boats and museum of engines and man, would you go on the sea in this? I think people back in the day were much braver than I was or am. Oh, this is the engine. Please keep away from working machinery. You photograph the last moments of Dogden Kalinsky, 1959. So this must have been the engine in that uh, the boat. And what engine is this one from? Oh, there's a salvage tug. Huh. Got lots of boats. Okay, so there's a lot, a lot of stuff here. <laughs> it looks like a very big place. Steam engine, 1910. So this boat was, who was this? This is the Kismet. Nineteen sixty-three, but it was the English side of this. I guess they don't have an English side. Or uh, the construction of the Kismet started in nineteen sixty-three. Blah blah blah. The whole of the Kismet was complete in nineteen sixty-four, and it's got a cat. <laughs> in nineteen sixty-four, they had cats. how they launch boats. Wow. All right, well, there's a lot, lot, lot of uh, stuff here because it goes out here too and there's more. And there's more engines in this room. Uncle Bob. More boats and more boats and more boats. So it's not, <laughs> it's a museum of everything, it looks like. U.S. Army tugboat, it looks like. statues and more boats please supervise your children <laughs> well, that's always a lovely thing more engines I don't know what that says up there but All right, well, if I film everything, it's gonna be the longest video in the world, but I just am trying to 
be an understanding what's here. What's this one say? This one says, I don't know. More engines? It's an engine room. Oh no, they got a penny maker. I gotta get a penny maker. You know, I collect these things. So I'm gonna get a penny, a couple of them. Wow. Old tractors. <laughs> we could be here for a while. The Heather. I got a sister named Heather. And these aren't for train tracks, these are for... Oh, it's a steam engine. Nineteen ten Hopman Taylor steam engine tractor. As always, everybody pause as needed. Now it's a tractor museum. <laughs> wow, they got a lot of old, and look at all the old cars over here too. What is this thing? Looks like a Model T or something. A Model N runabout. And it's got the crank on the front to start it. Human. I cannot. And are these? I was trying to tell if they were gas lights, you know, or. I'll come down the other side. But this place looks Bigger and bigger all the time in a fire truck ladder, ladder truck. Please do not climb on the ladder truck. What is this thing? Looks like, huh, what is that? A little pump maybe for pumping water, fire hoses. Any part of this? The first water pump chest. Oh. oh, and another penny machine. So I got some money to spend. Oh, all right, so let's finish down here and then I'll go up and show you the bicycles. Because this whole thing has bicycles too. So this, <laughs> this museum is... Museum of Everything. Rolls Royces, Bentleys, Cadillacs, Chevy, an old Chevy, Suicide Door. And another penny machine. This one's not starting. Was oh, this the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang one? No. Huh. Well, I know I'm going through here kind of fast, but uh I haven't even gotten upstairs yet, so there's going to be a little bit to come. Look at the old engine, too. That's a little four-cylinder, it looks like. Huh. <laughs> How about an old pinball table? Or a uh, pinball machine. Too funny.
Hmm. All right. Well, I'll go walk. Let me see if there's anything else on this side before I get out of here. And then I'll go walk over to the bicycles and not drag you guys with me. Are these printing presses? No, what are these over here? This is a very large stationary steam engine. Stationary steam engines. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see better. <laughs> the lights come on for you. Oh my gosh. So this is how this thing works. The steam engine works, turns that gear, which turns this gear, which goes up and turns that gear, which then comes and turns that grinding wheel, which then grinds their grain, corn, Wow, what an amazing museum, you yeah. know? Here we go. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> you did it now. Okay, so, oh, I see the water comes into here. Does it say where it's going? No. And then it goes over to three, which is the olives are weighed and poured into the mill for crushing. So it's olives. The boiler is fired to the steam engine. Can you see all that very well? Let me get it closer. <laughs> wow. The crushed olives are put into sacks and piled onto the press tray. Prime olive oil is collected from the mill during the crushing process, um, which squeezes the sacks of crushed olives. Oh, so it turns into pulp and then it squishes it so you get the the oil is then pressed out of the sacks and then it goes down the drains into jugs. I see, so the, holy crap. And the guy does the steam here. So they put in olives over here. They crush the olives, maybe get the seeds out of it and then separate it. And then the, you can see the olive oil right there. Wow, amazing. Okay, I'm gonna get to the next part, everybody. Bye-bye. All right, so let's go up to the ox carts, horse carriages, cycles and motorcycles. And this is the bathroom section. Wow. Everybody else says that way, that really goes racing. If I ever get to where I don't feel that I'm going to win a race meet, I won't go. I'll be all done. All these bicycles. Yeah, the HLR are rich, big, round, fine, really eccentric. You don't have the same experience as that.
It's scary every time I get on it. Huh. Oh, look at that. Too. It's kind of amazing. There's tons of them. I guess I'll go up this way. Is it like a steam engine bike or something? No, I don't. No, that's a weird one. Hmm. riding these bikes. Penny farthing. I can't even imagine getting on some of these things. Not even close. This place is huge. I think I'm going to have to stop doing videos or again, this is going to be a, an hour long video. Um, it's probably already going to be an hour long video. So I'm just going to walk through a little faster so that you get a gist of what's kind of here. Oh, hell, there's a lot here. I'm back to the steam engine side, so I'm going to stop and I'll come back. So the center section is like this old town. So this is what you'd get back in, I guess, what, 1920s, 30s, maybe? They have a little store here um, with all sorts of interesting things and... Huh. But there's like all these little shops to look at. Like, I guess this is a pharmacist. Huh, and then what's this one? This one is a, oh, it's a shoe store, it looks like. <laughs> it really is just a museum of all times. Here's the steel worker. And what is this one? This one is a clock maker. <laughs> it's kind of funny, huh? And then what is that one? I don't know what that one is. This one's Jimmy. Don't know mommy. Don't know. Don't know. Tim. Uh, lamps. Ship stuff, maybe, huh? And then this one is toys. Yes, a toy maker. Falling down. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyway, all right, everybody. There's certainly uh, lots here. Thanks for coming along. I'll stop here just so I don't uh, bore the heck out of you. Thanks for coming along. It's a beautiful day. Um, I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye. I wanted to point out one more thing I noticed. All the characters, they have masks on. <laughs> Is that funny? I mean, it's just a statue, but all of them do. In every store, um, even the patrons have masks on. I think that's really, that's really pretty funny. Anyway, the times. Bye, everybody.